finally finished sowing my seeds here. I started some zinnias. I love zinnias. They are a must in the garden. We're gonna run and put these on the heat mat, but we are going to go shopping today because I am looking for a certain type of pansy. Also, I do wanna show you all the remnants of what my crab apple tree is looking like. Typically, I get a beautiful display from my crab apple tree every single year. And I did not show them to you all in my video where I swapped out my containers at the front entryway. So I do wanna show you all what the remnants of the crab apple tree looks like if you're new to the channel and you've never seen it or if you're just recently joining because we have had so many new subscribers to recently join the channel and I am so glad to have you here. And if you all have been rocking with me for some time, I thank you for being on this journey with me. So I'm happy to have you here as well. And if you're new here and you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscription button. Also make sure to hit the bell so you'll be notified or you should be notified when I upload a video because we post a lot of content over here on Garden Queen. So I don't want you guys to miss out, but go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Get these on the heat mat. And then after that, we're gonna stop and we're gonna look at the crab apple tree. And I need to hurry up because it is so windy outside. I was trying to, I wanted to plant these up outside. I don't know about you or is it just me? But during the springtime and the summertime too, I try to spend as much time as I can in my garden because I just love it. It's so peaceful. It is so amazing outside, but baby, the way that wind was set up, we wouldn't have no seeds inside of these trays. So I went ahead, prepped them up, came in here, no problem, got everything together. And so I do wanna show you all the crab apple trees because I know after this rain, it'll probably knock the rest of the blooms out. Now, it's not the show that it had been giving earlier this spring. I missed it. And typically, I, we ain't even going to get into that because I covered that in that video. I'll be sure to link that video down below in the description box. So if you have not seen that, after you get done watching this video, you can go and watch that video. But I'll show you that. And then from there, we're going to go shopping. I am trying to hurry up, though, because we are supposed to be getting some rain and who wants to go shopping in the rain? I'm gonna have to do it because I have to find these pansies in order to complete this look. But anywho, once we get done, which I'm thankful for the rain because once we get done, then I have another project and I'm gonna need the rain to assist me to make it so much easier. So let's get these on the heat mat. I do have a thermostat here. Now this says it's 84.3 degrees Fahrenheit. I do like to start my zinnias more on the hotter than the cooler side. So I'm not going to mess with the temperature here and I'll be sure to update you all on how the zinnias germinate. So let's go ahead, let's look at this crab apple tree kind of see like some of them some of the blooms maybe and this crab apple tree right here but it was so many blooms all over this tree it was just amazing I love this I'm so glad we made the decision to plant this crab apple many 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 years ago
Make no sense. Ninety-seven dollars to fill up my tank. That is ridiculous. Gas prices are just through the roof. That's crazy. No receipt. Thank you. I'm quite sure. What we'll do now is we'll make the first stop. I do want to stop into Home Depot, see if they have anything. Once we go to Home Depot, actually, let's go to Lowe's and see if Lowe's have the pansies that we're looking for. In here, the textures, everything just gives. And then we also have the play. It's slightly raining. So this is our selection of pansies that they have here. I see this canary yellow, but it's definitely not the color that I'm looking for. And we're $4.98 for, looks like a six pack. You might as well go to your local garden center at that price. But this is my second option that I'm looking for. Not my first, my second option. But as you can see, in order for me to get this, I would have to buy it in like a multi-pack. So I'm looking for just a pure flat of that soft yellow color. And I am not seeing it. The only thing I see here is just a mix or a color that I don't need. So I do want to look over here because there are are some pansies and violas that look like well more so pansies here and I am not seeing what I'm looking for and I don't see any down this way and as you see they have the door close to the garden center so they definitely do not have what I'm looking for here finally made it back I was unsuccessful in finding the pansy that I was looking for so I came back home waited till the rain calmed down a bit the wind is kicking up but I want to clean out this entire area here hopefully you all will be able to hear what I'm saying I want to come in and I want to pull up these weeds have you all ever seen the purple flowers on the side of the highway those are called henbent and they are growing in my garden i also have some violas they're very very invasive so i need to come in and pull those from the fence line and then if i have time i'll start making it into my beds but especially because the wind is blowing how heavy it is it's going to be very important for me to get as much of this up as i can just start working here
looks a lot worse than what it is over there. We're going to pick up back there over here. So we'll get the walkways first and then we'll move into the flower bed. <laughs> I stayed outside and I worked as long as I could. The wind is really kicking up. In fact, the bird's nest, that one, the one egg that was inside of the tree, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. As I was walking up, the wind was blowing so bad. As I was coming out of that garden, I seen those three eggs. So what I did was I took one of my obelisk or I took one of my obelisk and I put it over the top of it or obelisk, however you want to say it. I put that over the top of it in hopes that, you know, those birds would be rescued. I'm not sure one of them did get crunched. Now I do have standard dogs here and they run out there during the nighttime. Now that the fountain is up and things like that, they like to go, they like to, you know, mess with the fountains and things of that nature. But I do have it covered now with the weeds. I am going to continue to make my way around and pull those weeds there and then I have to move into my bed. So if you have an invasive species like we had some violas going on there, we had some hembit going on, both are considered to be invasive in my area, in my garden. Now, for the most part, some of you all might be saying, okay, why not pick that up throughout the season? Well, if you're looking at regenerative practices, Hen bit is actually put down in order to keep it as a cover crop, if you will. Now, granted, that's in my walkway, but I don't know if I'll end up going in and turning that area into some type of garden space. Let's say if we never find our forever home, which that might not happen. I mean, considering the state of the region and how things are in my life right now, we might not end up moving. We might end up staying here, especially with inflation, especially with some of my friends. One of my friends called me and said that their mortgage went up by a thousand dollars a month. Who has the extra, who all has the extra thousand dollars just laying around? I don't have an extra thousand. So given the state of the union with the inflation so high, we might just end up staying here. So with that being said, I don't know if I'll end up going in 
and turning that area to a flower bed at some point or going in and reconstructing that area. Right now it's my raised bed. I use it for flowers and then I alternate it and then I'll use it for vegetables. It just all depends on how everything is flowing. Sometimes I'll have both. It just all depends on my plants that I planned out the year before. Can't tell you what I'm planning for this year. It's going to be very exciting. I do have another application once I finish pulling everything. There's another process that I like to use. I'll show that to you in another video. So please make sure that you're subscribed. So that way, if you're having the same issue that I'm having in my garden, which I know you all are not, just in case, go ahead, hit that subscription button, join the team over here, join us gardeners, and I'll see you all in the next one. Can you guys see those eggs? That was the bird's nest that was in the tree. So I'm gonna put this over it and hopefully my dogs won't run and